Hello guys, good morning, good morning. Um, I just woke up, I'm in the motorhome, I'm at Sebring for the eight hours or the 1,000 miles WEC race, racing with Joda. And I'm also racing the 12 hours of Sebring with Rick Ware Racing. Um, I had FP1 and FP2 yesterday uh, with WEC, where we were fastest in practice. Today I have qualifying with WEC and the first practices with IMSA. So I just woke up, uh, it's eight in the morning now. I'm gonna go to the IMSA team truck, which is Rick Ware Racing, talk to the guys, go out and practice with them um, in about an hour, and then, um, and then get ready for qualifying uh, with the wet car. Making some breakfast, so I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna go to the track. Peanut butter, breakfast of champions. So here's my breakfast, oatmeal, peanut butter, banana, flax seed, and chia seeds. Let's go. Dev, you ready for practice? Ready to go? Born ready. Born ready. That's the fuck. That Gunther says that. Born ready, yeah. I love them. Born ready, let's go. So now we're here at the Rick Ware racing truck, getting ready to go for first practice. Um, Devlin is ready, born ready, as he said. Just had a quick briefing with the team, and um, yeah, plan is set. Equipment's ready. My mom came here with my drink bottle, so I stay hydrated. The car's almost ready, and uh, we'll see everybody in uh, pit lane. And we made it to the IMSA pit lane. That's the Rick Ware Racing pit stand. That's where we'll be pitting. Go. 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 
Hey guys, so I didn't have a video uh, after qualifying yesterday, but we qualified second, very close uh, to pole position. I started the race, um, you know, about an hour ago. We didn't have a great start. Both of our cars just lacked a bit of grip. We lost two positions on the start, went from second to fourth. I was able to recover to third and try and overtake the guy in second, putting a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, but so difficult to overtake here. Um, then the team asked me to let my our sister car, teammate car, buy just to, for him to try to overtake the guy in second, but he also couldn't. Um, but it's good to get the other car just a shot at trying to, to overtake as well, but he couldn't. Um, so we stayed uh, behind, you know, third and fourth. We boxed, my teammate David's in the car now. And uh, I'm using this pole here, which is ice pole, to get my body tint down. It's super important. It gets so hot in the car. And, uh, and yeah, I'll be back in uh, later on in the race, six hours to go. Hey guys, so back in the motorhome, we finished uh, P6 in the uh, 1,000 miles of Sebring for the WEC race. Um, yeah, a bit frustrated because I think we had, you know, really, really good speed. Uh, qualified second yesterday it was less than a 10 to pull um, and then in the race I mean we started okay we lost a position on the start I didn't want to risk the car uh, too much and uh, ended up uh, gaining that position back uh, racing with Robert Kubica we're out of the pits on cold tires I was able to to gain a spot on him and then from that point on I mean we were running third, I think, and then my teammate David got in, and you know he he did his best, but I think he struggled uh, with uh, when the it would go to yellow, and um, the tires were cooled down, and their safety car a full course yellow, and then when it go back green, he just couldn't switch the tires on, and unfortunately um, we lost a lot of places. I think went from third to ninth or tenth, and uh, it was a point where I think he hit some oil on the track, went under braking, and went off, and we lost another 10, 15 seconds with that. So it was, yeah, quite unfortunate um, because we had really good pace. Uh, anyways, we fell back to like 10th. Oliver, my teammate, my other teammate got in the car, did amazing uh, stints as well, got us back to like 7th. Um, then I got in, we pushed even forward again, got up to 6th, and um, and yeah, and then Oliver went and, and finished the race, and we, we finished P6. Um, just, you know, it was unfortunate because I think we had the pace to, to really you know, win the race. Oliver had the uh, fastest lap of the race, and I believe I had the second fastest lap of the race. So we executed really well. We were like super, super fast. Um, the focus and testing and practice was for me to do qualifying. So I focused a lot on qualifying and we executed, we qualified second and Oliver was focused a lot on race pace. And uh, then we executed well there as well. We had fastest lap and I think second fastest lap um of the race so um yeah we just got to keep working um you know minimize mistakes and just keep pushing forward um because i'm sure we have a good package to to be able to win races so anyways i'm back at the motorhome now my mom cooked me some good food and uh i'm gonna rest because tomorrow it's uh, another race and it's 12 hours of imsa so see you guys tomorrow morning guys it's saturday morning 7 30 a.m we got imsa warm-up before the race I'm gonna get in the car shortly. So we're on the grid now for the IMSA race start. Just getting ready. Eric's gonna start. I'll be in the car second and then Devlin's gonna get in. So that's what we can do. Looking forward to it. All right guys, I finished my first stint. Um, Eric did a phenomenal job. Um, and now we are running in second place with six and a half hours to go. I just got some food that my mom made, drinking some electrolyte drinks now too, and a bit of coffee. And uh, after Devlin finishes his stint, I'll be back in the car. Speed's always cheering. Let's go. My mom dropping me off at the pits. Try to get back in the car. Hey guys, so just finished another stint. There's three and a half hours in the race to go. Uh, ooh, it's so hot in the car. We're P5, we got a drive through penalty for a fuel flow uh, issue. Uh, when we refueled but anyways we're p5 we're on the lead lap we're struggling a bit for pace uh, to be honest we're having a lot of tire degradation uh so we're just hanging on to the lead lap in fifth and uh just trying to see what happens at the end anything crazy can happen and we can fight for a for a podium if it does so yeah looking forward to it my mom made me a peanut butter banana sandwich get over here and uh getting ready to go again in a couple hours an hour and a half
and he just lost Whoa, it himself through turn one. That's a big impact for Pietro. Hey guys, so we were running fifth um, here at the IMSA race with one hour to go and uh, we were doing our best. We didn't really have the, the speed to, to be able to compete for the win, but we were executing. We were running third at some point in the race as well. No, actually we led the race for a bit, running in second for a long time, running in third. And then with one hour to go, we were P5, but we were on the lead lap. Um, and then I was in the car and unfortunately the right rear hub uh, snapped. It wasn't anybody's fault, but um, it just snapped in the middle of T1 and sent me straight in the wall. The right rear wheel then went flying and uh, it was a big, big impact. Uh, luckily, I'm okay. And actually there wasn't so much damage to the car, just more uh, bodywork stuff. Um, and obviously the, the hub that, that broke from the right rear wheel. Um, it was just frustrating because we had a good pace. Um, couldn't really, uh, yeah, we had a good opportunity to finish in the top five today. And uh, just something out of our control. Um, yesterday in WEC as well, I mean, we, I qualified second. We had, you know, probably the fastest uh, race pace out of all the cars. and. Unfortunately, yeah, couldn't put it into a into a result with some issues we had in the middle of the race. But um, that's racing. We have our highs and lows. Uh, but at the end, we we keep pushing. Here's a car with some bodywork damage over there, and then the wheel that broke off right rear. Sorry. Right there. 